Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for the final webinar hosted by the German National Tourist Board. My name is Jacqueline from Baxter Travel Media. I will be your moderator today. If you have any questions for me about the software or our webinars, please type them into the chat box. I will be here to support you throughout the entire broadcast. I have Karina from the GNTO on the line with her partners. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to type them into the chat box and they will be answered at the end of the session. Karina, you may begin whenever you're ready. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Um, thank you, Jacqueline, for this nice introduction. My name is Karina Schumacher, and I am with the German from Frankfurt and Janet Gareki, who is presenting Condor Airlines. For those of you who couldn't attend our webinars, heritage sites. Only the most outstanding testimonies to the history of mankind and nature are granted the World Heritage title by UNESCO, and 38 of them are in Germany. They have been grouped under seven themes, and a total of eight attractive routes have been developed. developed a brochure, an app, and a website that will assist you and your clients to discover these highlights. The Welt Erbe app features all 38 UNESCO World Heritage Sites and routes, as well as many other highlights. is a significant year for Germany, as it marks the 25th anniversary of the peaceful revolution German unity at the heart of its international sales and marketing activities. So since we are in Frankfurt today, Just a short train ride from Frankfurt, Wiesbaden is one of the most best healed high cities in Germany. This ultra-sophisticated city is char characterized by its refined taste, its touch of class, and its prestige. A long-established you will find everything to be at the height of luxury. One of the best reasons to visit Wiesbaden is to indulge in something new, especially when it's a matter of health. Since the days of the Romans, Wiesbaden has been famed for the healing effects of its 26 thermal springs, making the city the ultimate benchmark of any spa town. Famous wine growing areas gives Wiesbaden its name of the gateway to the Rheingau. The wine region owes its popularity to someone in particular, the Riesling. Experience all facets of fine capital and another historic highlight not far from Frankfurt. Mainz combines wine, culture, and lifestyle and in an extraordinary manner. The city lies right in the middle of Rheinhess, the largest wine growing The nice thing about visiting the wine capitals, you get to enjoy the fine wines in an authentic atmosphere. Mainz has a wonderfully restored old town <clears throat> with a large number After a stroll through the city, take a break in a nice atmosphere at any time. But Mainz has more to offer than just wine. On 
only a few steps away from the cathedral lies the World Museum of Printing Art. This is not a coincidence. It is in Mainz where Johannes Gutenberg invented the letterpress. How did the press function? Find out during an interesting demonstration. The Mainz Carnival procession on Rose Monday stretches for some 6.5 kilometers, making it one of the on a tour on one of Germany's UNESCO World Heritage routes. The UNESCO Savoir Since your clients have already visited Wiesbaden and Mainz and Frankfurt, they are now about gently rolling, sun-drenched vineyards, pretty villages on both sides of the river, and more than 40 grand castles, palaces, and fortresses. Alternatively, you can don Leg of the tour ends in Koblenz, or to be more precise, at the German corner, the Deutsches Eck. At the confluence of the Rhine and Moselle, where a cable car takes you up to Ehrenbreitstein Fortress. You might even be lucky After a short visit to Bonn, the former German capital, the tour continues to Brühl, home to Augustusburg. Ensemble. Augustus Burke Palace provides a superb setting for a series of cathedral which stands sentinel over the city. When it was completed in 8080, Cologne Cathedral was the tallest building in the world. That's no longer the case, of course. There's also no shortage of great events, as you'll discover at Cologne Lights in July, a spectacular fire of the very highest caliber at the Ludwig Museum and other great museums and exhibitions. In 1978, Aachen Cathedral which is which it's rich with its rich treasury was the very first site including the exhibition Charlemagne Power Art Treasures and the opening of the Charlemagne Centre in January. A cathedral of a different kind awaits you in Essen the Zollverein Coal Mine Industrial Complex, center of the European Capital of Culture Ruhr 2010. Black, co black gold or coal was mined and pro processed here for 130 years. Long disused, the mine now offers exciting themed tours and is also an important art center and venue for events such as the Zechenfest Colliery Festival with entertainment and fireworks, held every year on the last weekend in September. Naturally, Düsseldorf offers a broad spectrum of art and culture. The Rhineland city is the ideal place in which th this tour ends. Düsseldorf ranks number six on a global list of cities and quality of life, a fascinating new leisure destination in Germany that shows up on more and more itineraries of international tourists. Düsseldorf is home to the longest bar in the world. In under a square mile in the historic old town, other attractions include a supermodern meteor harbor, one of Germany's most recognized newscapes. 
Add, <clears throat> add to this 17 world-renowned museums and hundreds of galleries and the elegant shopping boulevard Königsallee. and 40 departure points. It is the biggest fleet on the Rhine and the only company offering a regular daily service along the whole stretch of the Middle Rhine, a world UNESCO heritage site. KD offers 80 daily departures from the various KD landing stages. KD also offers popular packages including coffee and cake for your clients and even meals on board. and all the beautiful UNESCO routes in Germany, please visit our website at www.germany.travel. Thank you very much again for tuning in, and I would now like to hand over the word to Yasmin Bischof, who is in Frankfurt. Um, I'm looking forward to hear from you. Frankfurt is my hometown, and um, Yasmin, the word is all yours. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, thank you very much um, to all of you for joining um, that session and um, for your interest in Germany and uh, the region. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about Frankfurt and um, about the region and what to do once you are in Frankfurt um, and what, what you can do best. Think, when they think of Frankfurt, um, of course, they think of the airport, and on the other hand, they think of skyscrapers, business city, uh, trade fairs, which um, to give you an overview where we are located and um, um, why it is so perfect to stay in Frankfurt and then, um, and then go around. So as you see, um, Frankfurt cities uh, which you can reach within only one um, hour from Frankfurt, or one hour and a little bit. So for example, Rüdesheim and I And even Cologne and Stuttgart are just about an hour away. But I'll come on that later, or come to that later. Um, on the right hand side you see the map of Frankfurt and I would like to just show you how within twenty minutes. The yellow parts are the shopping areas um, and the this part here is the historic part of Frankfurt. This here is the airport. Frankfurt Airport is the biggest hub in Germany, and therefore you all have heard about that. And if your clients start a journey in, in Germany, they often start in That means even if you have uh, stopovers or only about five minutes time, um, let, don't let your clients stay at, an, at a big airport. Uh, let them go if they anyway have a Schengen visa or if they are going anyway uh, to Europe. Let them go downtown. It's really worth it. And um, as the city center is located so close to the, uh, to the train station as well, it's really always worth a visit. As well, the train station, it is connected to all major cities within Germany. So easy and comfortable to travel with, uh, by train within Germany. So now let's come to Frankfurt. Um, we say it's a multifaceted metropolis. Um, it's a small metropolis as well. And uh, it consists of exciting contrasts. Contrasts, for example, between tradition and modernity. We just talked about Frankfurt as a business city. 
Um, but it's, uh, on the other hand, a city with a large history or with a long history and with a historic city center, which you see on the right-hand uh, upper picture. Um, Frankfurt is the cradle of German democracy. We have a long Jewish history, and we can, you can still visit the Jewish history in the Jewish Museum. Um, and on the other hand, of course, we have the skyscrapers and the modern parts of the city. Or let's say internationality, originality. Um, Frankfurt is quite an international city, of course. For one, one point is the, the airport. The other point is um, the banks. Many people are working there from all over the world. We have a big um, Asian community living in Germany. But as Um, as well, we live our traditions, and I will come to that later. And we are very proud of our special traditions in Frankfurt. Well, we offer top class cultural, um, yeah, we have top class cultural offers. Um, what many people don't know, um, Frankfurt has more than 60 museums in total, museums and galleries. And what is for Berlin, the museum island, which is quite well known all over the world, is for us our museum embankment. Frankfurt is divided by a river. Museums, museums of all kinds, not only picture galleries, but as well, for example, a film museum, a museum of architecture, a communications museum. So for all interests, there is some, something. And if you have people um, who are culturally interested, they can just really hop on and hop off from one to the other museum. And then, of course, um, Goethe. Um, you might have heard about him. He's one of the most famous German poets. He was born in Germany. Of course, we have a big opera, which is uh, which won prizes um, in the culture is not only picture galleries, museums, and stages. It's as well events for us, at least. late. Um, but in Frankfurt, you will find as well an Opera Square Festival. It's in front of our old opera building. And um, it has stages and music and food from all over the world. And it's, very, it's a very nice week um, where every, every day there is another program on the, on the stage. Then throughout summertime, we have several open air theater festivals taking place in the in the different parks. Or one is uh, located along uh, at the riverside, and they are free. Um, you can just go there, join it, um, sit a while there, listen to one of the plays, to some music. You don't have to pay. You you will find food and drinks all around. It's a really nice atmosphere. And then our highlight is every last weekend of August. Um, that's our museum and bank. And then um, you'll find stages with music and theater plays from all over the world. You have food from all over the world. And then you have handcrafts from all over the world. And every But then, of course, um, I said one of the um, contrasts is commerce and culture. So some people really like go shopping in other countries. I do that myself. Our shopping mile goes through the city. Just um, in the it's in the middle of the city. It's about one kilometer of only shop. malls, like on the left-hand side. 
upper side. That's my style. It's architectural, very interesting. Um, but on the other hand, you will find, of course, the smaller um, boutiques and some labels which are only in Frankfurt, which can only be found in Frankfurt. And then something else is very special for Frankfurt. part of the city, one of those markets. And they are not only for buying um, stuff from, um, from the markets or from the farmers, but they are as well kind of a meeting point for the Frankfurt people, but as well, meanwhile, for tourists um, who just stay there, who meet, who just sit down, have a glass of apple wine, drink something, eat something, and just be together. It's really a very nice way of, um, of meeting and of spending time. And then um, duty-free is a big important point for many people from, from overseas. Um, uh, many of the shops work with Global Blue, so that means you get your products and you get the tax back, and they work with this system. And then what I mentioned before, of course we are an international metropolis, and that means, of course, you will find all kinds of restaurants in Frankfurt. Um, you'll find Chinese. all might know that um, Germany generally is famous for beer, but Frankfurt is not. Um, we are famous for apple wine, and um, you might all think but then after the second it gets better, and if you drink the third one it's really great, and after the fourth and the fifth you will really love it. Great. And um, when you want to drink an apple wine, um, you see the chars on the right picture. Served an apple wine from that char. And then um, what goes together with this? We have a special dish as well. So what for Italy is and um, we we'll, uh, usually serve it together with boiled eggs and with potatoes. And um, yeah, it's something that was uh, invented in times when they didn't have very much to eat. And the herbs always grow in our region, and therefore it was easy to get them. And eggs and, of course, potato as well, you always had. So it was if you want to have it as a not non-vegetarian uh, dish. But then as well, um, we are not only a big city, we as well offer um, a relaxing atmosphere. We And then the Frankfurt Zoo. It's a very old zoo, which was just expanded last year. Um, and it's nowadays a very modern zoo with um, uh, areas for the animals, which, which are very like in the original. And then there is a green belt of 75 kilometers surrounding Frankfurt, which is a perfect point for cycling and hiking. And um, it's quite a great a possibility to relax or, or do some cycling. And it's quite easy to cycle, of course, because you don't have big mountains. Of course, as I mentioned before, Frankfurt is a business city. Um, big trade fairs take place in Frankfurt, like the back, uh, book fair or the international auto exhibition. And therefore, of course, we have as well countless event locations, or um, you have many possibilities. ...around Frankfurt in a very short time. 
And then, of course, we offer um, hotels and accommodation for all type of, of um, stays. So if you want a hostel or a design hotel or a, a stylish um, scene hotel, we can offer that. But then, of course, we have um, the traditional five-star hotels and our first hotel at the place, the Steigenberger Frankfurter Hof, which was just re renovated in the last two years and now has a big spa area as well. Um, of course, we offer that as well. In evi inviting events, not only the cultural events, but as well um, all kind of sports events. Of um, We have an event only dedicated to our Apple Vine, the Apple Vine Festival, taking place in summer for about 10 days. Um, then, of course, another very important point is our Christmas market, taking place for four weeks in, in winter time on the Römerberg, our main area in the city center, um, which is one of the oldest Christmas markets in, in Germany. Um, are located within one hour to Frankfurt, um, so it's quite easy to get around. You can all reach all of those cities within one hour. You can reach it either by train within one hour or by um, by a river cruise. Primus Linie offers. Uh, up the mountain with a cable car. You go above the vineyards, and then you arrive at the Germania, which is a big statue that um, looks all over the, the Rhine Valley. Um, you are there. You take another boat going back to Rüdesheim. And then in the evening, you could take just the train back to Frankfurt. It's a perfect day trip. And in Rüdesheim, there are other possibilities, like you could do a wine tasting, because Rüdesheim, of course, is famous for the Riesling wine. Or you could visit the Music Museum, which is a kind of a real um, funny museum of uh, a person who was count, uh, collecting all kind of uh, music instruments. evening and um, take another day trip the next day, for example, to Cologne or to any other city close by to Frankfurt. So that was just a brief overview. I thank you very much for listening. Yeah, thank you very much and have a nice evening and already happy Easter to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Yasmin. Uh, thank you for this very nice presentation on Frankfurt. Which I'm looking forward to next. So, um, Jeanette, whenever you're ready. OK, I'm ready. So I just want to say thank you to uh, Karina and Jasmine. It was really nice to see Frankfurt, and um, I'm why I love Condor Airlines so much, and we can get you to anywhere in Germany that you would like to go. So I would like to start first a little bit with our, our history. Condor, even though a lot of the agents don't ...1955 is part of Lufthansa. And uh, we still have that reputation. Uh, we have uh, broken off from Lufthansa, and we were acquired by the Thomas. In ...partnerships within Europe. So also what um, our, our aircraft this year, we're going through some refurbishment. 
so we started our long haul flight through the Boeing 767. Uh, with the refurbishment of these aircraft, all available, all flights are available in GDS, and we have a real business class. Before it was, because we were charter, we did have a comfort class. So I'm glad to have this opportunity to explain to all the agents what Condor has to offer uh, in Canada for their clients to get over to Frankfurt and beyond. Our destination with WestJet, so you can get from other destinations as well to the long-haul flights. Within the U.S., we have Alaska Airlines, we have Copa Airlines and uh, Lab. Final destination. So here's uh, Canada with, with WestJet. I mean, our main uh, destinations in Canada are um, Halifax, Toronto, Calgary, Vancouver, and Whitehorse. And so with the from May through uh, October. It has been in the past because of aircraft availability, but some destinations, if they prove to be high yield, may um, result in year-round uh, service. So, but no promises. We really don't know what our planning department in Germany will do. Swiss and Austrian and Scandinavia a lot. Aeroflot is our, our newest uh, partner, as well as Czech Airlines. So we really have um, many uh, choices for your clients to get over to, to Europe. Uh, a, bi a big question they ask is if we participate in any um, programs for frequent flyers or miles. So Condor is a, still a partner with So our, our fleet, we have 12 Airbuses, two uh, smaller Airbuses, or two larger Airbuses, sorry. Our so the, the configuration now with, we have two different configurations for our new 767s. We were able to do this with the refurbishment. Uh, it is because of supply and and 206 in the economy. These mostly go to the Caribbean or where there's less demand for the comfort class. And then we have the three aircraft that have 30 seats in the business class, and 35 in premium, and 180 in. So just a, an overview of the refurbishment. So the, first we have the economy class, and some agents may have known from before that we didn't have the in-seat videos, so now we have in-seat videos. ...than the other two on the aisle. And the configuration is still two on each side, three in the middle, and you have a USB port at each seat. Our premium economy, is 
uh, more recline on the backrest. It has a movable headrest. This is, this is uh, what we're all excited about because it really is, is more of a, a business class seat with the live flat beds. And um, there's the player. So now you really have the, your own personal um, screen that you don't have to put on your, on your tray. It's built in. So our in-flight and entertainment is um, we have ex extensive choice of Hollywood and German films with TV shows, documentaries, uh, website. They will they will um, display it there. Also, the, the cabin lighting and design has been refurbished. And uh, the overhead bins have also been in, enlarged. Also, the, the lavatories are also a little bit bigger than they have been before. Just flipping on a switch in the morning, and, and, and it's, it's like totally bright. It's, it's uh, a gradual uh, lighting of the cabin, so it gives you that effect like, okay, it's sunrise, and you have to, have to start waking up, not that you're blasted with uh, the light right away. Alcoholic beverages free of charge. You can book uh, pre-book a, a special meal if you would like. This is also available on the website. And you still get your one piece of luggage for free, 23 kilos, and um, a carry-on, which is for six. Uh, complimentary, you have headsets and a well-being kit when you uh, check out when you arrive at your seat. Now this is it's really the five course meal and a separate dessert and after drink um, a trolley that is offered by the flight attendant. Thing. We have to sometimes be careful for feeder flights that they might have um, a different um, regulation. So uh, I know in the U.S. with DOT, for business class passengers, they get access to the, to the lounges as well. So our office is here in uh, the Chicago area. Germany is, ta is taking over 24-7. But we're, we're still here from Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 6 Central Standard Time. And Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please stay with us as well as um, I would like to address some um, questions to both of you. Um, first um, I'm going to start with you, Yasmin, in Frankfurt. Um, there was a question of whether you can do duty-free shopping at the markets that you had mentioned through your presentation. Uh, 
uh, like uh, fresh products from the region. So um, this is this is nothing like like jewelry or uh, clothes or anything. Or drink. Um, those markets are rather for that. But um, in the in the regular shops, in the shopping areas, um, almost all shops are participating the tax-free program, yes. Yes. And um, just um, um, regarding that as well, regarding the in Germany or in Frankfurt? On the smaller markets, um, no, there are no Canadian dollars. There, there is no other, um, there, there's just the euro, of course. Um, mm -hmm. That would be probably the same in every country in the world that you mostly pay then with the, with the um, uh, currency which is um, in the country. In the bigger shops or in the, uh, in the department stores, um, I think it's euro in the United States or in Canada, well, which usually has the Canadian or the US dollar or whatever, then I would always get the worst price and the, the exchange rate is always better if you exchange uh, the money or if you, if you get money with your card at the, at the cash machine. This is always the best thing to get money at the cash machine. Right. I totally agree. If there are any new animals expected for the zoo in Frankfurt, I found that was yeah. a very neat question. So, do you have any information on that? Um, well, at, at the moment, I'm, I'm, no, I don't have the, the information right away. Okay. I just know that um, there were a few changes in the in the last year with the ex, uh, expansion of the zoo. Um, they got a bigger area for um, animals. free um, uh, in, in their usual life. Um, but what exactly now is expected or whether there are new animals except, uh, expected, I'm not sure about that, but I can find that out. It's happening in Frankfurt throughout the year. Do you have... Um, I don't know, is, are there any months where there are more events or fairs going on than others? To avoid, um, really, for, uh, for, for leisure travelers, uh, definitely September, October, because they are the big fairs like the book fair and the, the inter travel are perfect for Frankfurt um, because all the trade fairs won't take place between May and August and this is the perfect time to travel because the weather is the best and during that time rooms in Frankfurt are almost with the cheapest Um, the city is not that full. Um, it's, well, of course, it's, it's tourists coming, and you'll always get a room um, to, to really fair and, and great rates. There was a question about Condor operating out of Toronto, and you had mentioned connection flights. Can you um, maybe just give us here because of the refurbishment? So Fridays we start on June 20th, and Mondays the 23rd of June, and Wednesdays the 25th of June.
those would be the connections that we would offer. And then uh, going to Europe, I mean, uh, depending on where they would want to go, we have all the, the inner line partners that, that we okay. offer. Great. Thank you. And um, there was another piece of 23 kilos, is that correct? Yes. And then a hand carry-on is 6 kilos, right? Right, right. Okay. Um, there were lots of questions about um, Condor and uh, partnerships, partnering up with uh, Lufthansa or Star Alliance, uh, becoming part of Star Alliance, or partnering up with uh, Air Canada. Can you give us um, a brief answer to that? Yeah. Previously, we had the connection with, with Lufthansa. Uh, that's the reason we kept the Miles and More program. But no, there's definitely no plans to, to be part of any, any programs. OK, thank you very much. Um, now I am going to look. Jacqueline, have you by any chance received any other questions that I have missed in the meantime? Sure, there was a question from Anita. What days of the week do you operate out of YYC in the summer for Condor? OK, that's um, Calgary. All right, we start on the 4th of June, Wednesdays, until the 1st of October. And then on Tuesdays, from the 1st of July till the 23rd of September. And Fridays, from the 4th of July till the 26th. It's from Karen, and she's asking if there's a partnership with Air Canada for Condor. First, um, I'm very happy to provide you with um, a contact for KD, who I have mentioned in my presentation. Um, I will forward. find all sorts of information for the river cruises and their start points and um, what is along the, the way when you get on a river cruise. So that was one thing that I had still in mind. Um, now, do we have any other questions for Frankfurt or for Condor? Jacqueline, did you find any other in the chat box? I'm looking through. Yeah. Did you agents want to type in any questions quickly if you have any last minute? Net. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write my email into the chat box so that you have it. I am also going to be doing a um, raffling off of luxury uh, German basket that is provided from the German National Tourist Board at the end of the presentation. So I'll be contacting the winner by email. I also very, very much want to thank Karina and Janet and Jasmine for joining. Series. It's been such a good time, and I really, really appreciate all of your participation and kind comments. My name is Jacqueline from Baxter's. I will be sending out the presentations as well as the recording of today's webinar. And again, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.